We're sharing a preview of the world's largest and most anticipated new cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, coming up on Talking Cruise. Royal Caribbean's newest and largest cruise ship ever, Icon of the Seas, already has the cruise industry buzzing, and the best word to describe it is incredible. At 250,800 gross tons, Icon of the Seas will not only be the largest cruise ship in the world, but cement Royal Caribbean's position, offering the biggest and certainly some of the most innovative ships at sea. Icon of the Seas will carry forward many features first introduced on Oasis-class ships, including eight neighborhoods, but significant design evolutions make all of the spaces feel completely new. The multi-level Royal Promenade will feature 15 restaurants, bars, and cafes, and debut the Pearl Cafe, home to the mysterious sphere we've seen in recent months. This neighborhood will also be home to Absolute Zero, the largest ice rink at sea with an all-new circular design and outward-facing windows from the Royal Promenade for the first time. Central Park will feature 20% more live trees and continue to offer live music, bars and dining, including Izumi, Hibachi and Sushi and Chops Grill. The other remaining neighborhoods all have new names. Surfside, located aft on Deck 7, takes the boardwalk concept with a popular carousel and arcade and amps it up with a splashaway bay and baby bay aquaparks and water's edge infinity pool. Take a break from gameplay and watery spray to enjoy several new eateries and bars. With the aqua theater being located to the forward section of the ship, there is now tons of room for guests to enjoy this area all day long. For those seeking the ultimate in luxury and fun, check out the three-level Ultimate Family Townhouse with direct access to Surfside. Aqua Dome includes a reimagined version of the Aqua Theater located forward on Deck 15. This space features a climate-controlled dome with 673 glass panels that encapsulate the solarium area with spots to lounge, dine, and drink during the day and be mesmerized with an all-new aqua show format at night. A pumped-up aqua park is located at Thrill Island, featuring six record-breaking water slides, including two family raft slides, Storm Surge and Hurricane Hunter, Frightening Bolt, the tallest drop slide at sea, plus the industry's first free fall slide, pressure drop, and Storm Chaser's dueling mat racer slides. The thrills go even higher with Crown's Edge. Perched 154 feet above the ocean, guests navigate a ropes course, walk across the crown, then feel the platform drop as they swing across to the other side. Rounding out the excitement are the side-facing rock climbing wall, Flowrider with its flipped orientation, and Lost Dunes Mini Golf. After the thrills, check out Chill Island. Spanning three decks, expansive ocean views are the backdrop for tons of ways to cool off in the water at Royal Bay, the largest pool at sea. Swim and Tonic, Royal's first swim-up bar. Plus Cloud 17 adults-only pool deck and the Cove offer swim-to-the-edge infinity pools. The Hideaway, featuring an infinity pool suspended eight decks above Surfside, is a beach club type venue that has its own resident DJ, full service bar, and some of the best views on board. For those that enjoy exclusive experiences, the sweet neighborhood, first debuted on Wonder of the Seas, is bigger than ever. Offering some of Icon of the Seas' most spacious suites, Guests will also be pampered with access to a sun deck with private pool and whirlpool, and restaurants, the Grove, Mediterranean-style cuisine, and a two-level coastal kitchen with open views to the Aqua Dome. There will also be a host of new accommodations on board Icon of the Seas, including Infinite Veranda Ocean View Balcony, Family Infinite Balcony, Surfside Family Suite,
Sunset Corner Suite, and the already mentioned Ultimate Family Townhouse. Royal Caribbean has promised that more exciting reveals are still to come, but from what we've seen already, Icon of the Seas has definitely been worth the wait.
Icon of the Seas will start sailing in January 2024 with year-round sailings to the Eastern and Western Caribbean from Port Miami. Thanks for watching. We'll continue to bring you more as we count down to the debut of Icon of the Seas in 2024. Don't forget to like this video, turn on notifications, post your comments and questions, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.